I, uh, this video, uh, I would like to share with you how to use the Excel VBA and then generate uh, the script file from the point that given uh, key in the Excel VBA. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, go to this link, acatpgkl.blogspot.com, right? So we're going to talk about uh, generate a, how to import a point from Excel to AutoCAD using script file. Okay. In this topic, I only covered uh, the BBA Excel file, okay, which is on this particular file here. Okay, first thing you, you just need to click this, download it. Once you download, okay, I'm going to download it. And uh, this particular file will download to my D drive. Okay, this is the file. Okay, make sure that you go to the property, right click, and uh, make sure it's unblock it. Okay, if you don't unblock it, uh, the VB cannot run. Okay, the VBA cannot be run. Okay. But I already create one here. I, I also already changed the property here, and you it's already in, in a proper manner already. Okay, these are the things that you need to know. Uh, what we're going to do next is we open our cat and we also open. Uh, so when you open the Excel file, okay, say no for this particular file, the one that which we downloaded. Okay, the AutoCAD, uh, you can open any AutoCAD file. Uh, so, okay, we're going to use it to uh, script file and then run the, the script inside the AutoCAD here. Okay, first thing, okay. This is, we can enable the content, okay? Make sure if it's not the first time you download this, uh, open this other card file, you make sure that you have to go to the option, file, options, okay? Go to trust center, go to trust setting, make sure there's this is uh, enable your macro setting, make sure enable your macro setting, enable the for Excel 4.0 macro, okay? plus the step here, this this area, this step and this particular step here, okay? So in this case, I go to the first sheet called XY point, okay? In this sheet here, you have column A and B. Column A and B is, A is for the X point, B is the Y point. Then you can say point A and B is, uh, point one is one, one, okay? And if you look at it, also, this is the option, the script file, I call it my, okay, CR, okay, one. The script file, I call it, this is my SCR one. And then I want to draw this coordinate, number one, number two, number three, you key in yourself, uh, draw a polyline. If you don't want to draw a polyline, you want to draw a circle, you can say draw a circle. Okay, but when you draw a circle, okay, is each, each, each point of this circle, then you will ask when you run this macro, okay, over here, this, this table here, then the, you they will ask for a radius is required. So I change it to circle. But if I change it to insert, okay, then I will require to put a block name that I'm going to insert based on this XY point. Okay, in this case, I'm going to change using this. Say I want a circle, later it will pop up for the radius of the circle, okay? So uh, these are the point, okay? So I just click this, then detail command is circle, yes. Okay, then ask me the circle radius, I say uh, 1.2, okay? All right, so okay. One is done, actually it already created the script file called uh, my script underscore negative circle dot version one SCR. This is the file generated in my Dropbox folder. Sorry, okay. So, because this file is in the Dropbox folder. All right, so just okay. All right, they will tell me that it's 18 point process. Just to make sure, yeah, it's got 18 point here altogether. Okay, so what I need to do is now, I go to my folder because I click from, uh, so I have a file name in my Dropbox actually. 
which is located at uh, also at this particular folder, which is this particular file was, okay? It tell me where the file located. Okay. So when I got it, this file, I can maybe just copy. It's easy. I just copy data. I put it in the desktop. Okay, or in my, let's put it in a better put it in download folder. Okay, just right click and paste it. Okay, I would like to run this script in my drawing, AutoCAD here. So in AutoCAD command, what I need to do is just type script, S-R-I-P. S-R-I-P-T, enter, and you ask for the file that you want to run. So I, as I know just now, we put it in a download folder. Look for download folder, stop. And download, 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 download. Wait, where is it? Sim download folder. Yeah. Okay, so I got this one and just say open. What the system do is actually automatic draw all the circle with the radius 1.2. See, you can press F2 in the comma line. Okay, the first circle is at a radius uh, at the center point of uh one one okay go back to the excel file we, because we tell you at one one okay so that's how easy right if you want to draw different the same thing if i want to change it i call it to draw a polyline okay uh, different script file okay all right and then i say run the program i'm generating a polyline at this particular folder also okay now i can go to the script of AutoCAD here, okay. I type script again, call the script file, which is not here, is at my Dropbox folder. I know it, I put it at under here. Uh, this is the second one with my script two with P line, okay. So it actually draw all this, all the circle in one polyline, okay, with the starting point that we are mentioned by the drawing. So you can easily draw this thing, uh, okay, you can, you can place a point, you can do anything that you want. Okay, in this case, I just remove this one first, and just keep some of the circle, leave it there. Okay, go back to here. Okay, now I'm looking at XY survey point. Okay, so go to the XY survey point, you normally have the X, Y, and Z point, followed by the text that you want to specify. P1.2 or A1.8 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, the script file that I'm going to generate. Okay, then you just click this. If this is your X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, you just copy it in this format. Okay, in this case, I call it uh, X, Y, Z, civil. Okay, the script file will be Oh, X, Y, Z, civil. I just click this program. This is the text of P1, P2. They replace it. Let's run this. Okay, enter the rotation that how you want the text angle. I put it zero. Okay, then the output will be this, this file name. So same thing, they will actually create this at the same folder where we keep it. All right, and there is actually 18 point was generated. Right, so now go back to AutoCAD. The file is already there, type script again. Okay, in this case now, I have this file now. Just open and uh, you will see this. The height is not specified there wrong. So before you run uh, this program, because how, what is the height you have to specify? Let's say I say 1.2 height, okay, or 1.5. Well, let's say 1.5, okay. 1.5, the height of the text, 1.8, 1 1.9. 1 okay, run the script again. Okay, this file. Okay, and you see the point is located at the 1.1. One, one. If you list it up, point number one, I think we, we uh, not at 1.1. One, one. So you have all the points, okay? If you list it up, they are X, Y, Z coordinates. Okay, it's according to the the Excel file that you key in, point number seven, X, Y, Z, P, seven. Okay, so this is how easy. Okay, same for others. If you have a block, you want to insert the block, 
with the block name you specify in the green color here and how you want the block rotation angle scale. If you want block with attribute, you have a one attribute, two attribute, three attribute, four attribute, fifth attribute, or six attribute. When you run it, you just specify number of attribute. Okay, this is the value. This is the block name. Okay, the insertion. Okay. okay. If you put it up here, you will see the insertion point X, Y, block name, X scale, Y scale, zero. Okay, it's attribute one, attribute two, attribute three. If you have three, you just put maximum. I designed this one for six. But you can have, you key in five, you can change it from here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let the system do it by itself. If you just want to insert a point, same thing, okay? Or you just want to uh, insert a circle, okay? Now, uh, ref that's how easy, simple. Okay, I go need to open one of the Excel file, which is the older version, uh, the one without macro. Wait, uh, we have not script generator. Oh, I deleted. Never mind. We go to the link. Okay, we have this. Okay. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to download it. They are different. This one is without the VB. Okay. So if without the VB, I can just open. I don't need to do the, the rest of the setting. Okay. If you open, you will see uh, quite messy here. Okay. Now, why I want to bring in this topic is you may have a tag something like this. Okay. Okay. Example. I have a text file here. Okay. Your text must be you have one comma something something with the spacing in between. Okay. Your your coordinate maybe is something like that. Is two o six. 8709.9 some, some, something. You need this format. Okay. You need to make it as a number one and then the X coordinate and Y coordinate after the comma. Okay. What you need to do is just copy this format. Okay. Go to Excel, the file that we download from the link, which we have our the link here. Okay using the second one, okay? So go back to the out, out. Excel. So let's say, let me copy this, right? Paste it. And what you see is your, your point is properly adjust, okay? You get this number one, X and Y. The system will be uh, intelligently adjust your, your point. Okay. This one, we have some issue with it. It's okay. Yes. okay. The system would know. So you can see that this is the X coordinate of this. This is the number one. If, if this one, I change it to zero. You see here, it's changing to zero. Okay, if this coordinate here, I change it, make it to one comma two. You see my result at the end is one, one, two, and then the coordinate is one comma two. Okay. Sometimes it's a semicolon, a uh, comma. Is you may have a data with a semicolon. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Example: If I want this data should be uh, start from a semicolon forty thirty four called semicolon two and I get this. Okay. With this information actually I can just copy it. Okay. I I can copy this value. Okay or X and Y value or all these three value or let's say this let's copy this few value here X and Y coordinates. Copy it to the Excel file that I want to generate the script file. Okay example go back to the XY point. I, I want to put it here. So I just paste the value only. So I get a script file with those. I don't want at the bottom. I just delete. Okay. Then I want to draw a... Okay, let's say what I want to do now. Uh, 
put a point? No. Draw a donut. Yes, why not? Okay. The same script file name and I run. This is to import if you already have another VB here just to import the XY point. Okay, but this will be better. Just run this one. So I will have the meter, the command is the donut. Inside diameter is one. Okay. Outside diameter is let's say let's say three. All right. So it actually create a my script to under negative donut version one script. Okay, done. I have toy point here. Okay. So go back to AutoCAD. I'm going to put the donut by run, running the script command. I got this donut here. Yes, in the same folder where the file will automatically generate. Okay, it's done. You see all the circle with the donut one here. I think there are a few here. Uh, so you can see that uh, this other donut was, well, they all drawn in very close location, quite far away. Okay, so zoom off. They are quite far away, very, very far away, somewhere. Right? Okay, there are a few donuts here. There's only one donut here. Okay. And there are one big, big line. We don't know where is it to find it. Okay. I generate another Excel file. Okay. Rather than donut now, I ask them to draw a line for me. P line for me. Run again. Yes. This is the P line file. Run my script. I just want to find where is the donuts. All right. So this is the polyline yeah oh, the, the, the file is so far away okay it's all somewhere around here okay let's see <laughs> yeah these are the donuts okay <laughs> these are the polyline see uh, you can use it for your civil uh, uh, surveyor data point to generate the xy point the script file okay if you want you, those file is actually editable. If you make a mistake, all this file is, if you open, uh, the VB is actually generate this file. Okay. That's all from my side. Thank you. If any question, uh, let me know and send an email from the link here. Uh, okay. You can get, you can get my contact or email here. Um, also, if you, uh, hope you all can uh, subscribe the YouTube link at the bottom under ACAT system here. So thank you. Bye.